What's up guys, welcome back. So got the Grumman frame here and I wanna show you kind of the progress I have made on it before we tear it apart. Today is a big day. I would like to get this thing tore apart and start loading it up to head to the sandblaster, but we still got hours and hours of welding, but I don't wanna bore you guys during that process. But I also wanna show you guys kind of what we got going on on the back end of this thing. So let's just get into it. I went ahead and put a Watts link on this thing even though I got the bars, uh, our uh, control arms kind of going at an angle, it still wanted to move this axle left and right as it, you know, even at a standstill, if I was to kick the frame left or right, it has some movement, but there is no movement in the back end of this thing at all now that I have the Watts link in it. I bought this Watt link from Switch Suspension. This is their box style. They have a couple different styles. I like this one just because the way it looked and it looks good. And also it gave me a nice spot to mount the, the shock tabs. The shocks are going to mount there and come up here to another cross member. Um, I haven't welded the cross member in yet because I haven't got the frame plates uh, back from Shane. Once the, the frame plates get on there, we'll be able to weld us a bar in here and mount the shocks from here to that cross member. But before we tear this apart, I do want to show you guys this thing moving up and down. So let's get into that. Hook our compressed air up to my valve here. We're gonna raise this thing up. So there it is all the way up. As you can tell, it never moved left and right as it was going up. If you have a um, track bar with this short of a distance with the track bar, it was wanting to pull the frame uh, to the left or right. And I kind of, I don't know, been doing a little bit of research on these Watts links and I've always kind of wanted to do one. So this was kind of my excuse to do it. So there is the Watts link all the way up and then all the way down, it looks like this. So there it is. And the figure this thing out was kind of tricky, but after you know what you're doing, it wasn't terrible. And to be honest with you guys, I had no idea what I was doing. Uh, I did watch a quick simple video on how to set it up and I'm going to give you guys just a quick tip so if you guys are doing this you guys don't have to go through kind of the struggle I did. So what you're going to want to do you're going to want to measure from the ground to the top of your bumper or wherever you're going to measure it twice so make sure it's somewhere um, that you're going to be able to measure twice. So what I did was I measured from the ground to the top of the bumper and then I went all the way up and got that measurement and then found center. So lower this back down. So right there is about my ride height. So you're gonna want this thing vertical, the pivot point, and then you're gonna want your bars horizontal at ride height or center of travel. Otherwise, I was just trying to wing it at first and I was just crashing the system so do some research or just do what i just said and you guys should be fine and that explains why there's a giant um i guess bracket or the frame i had to put frame extenders to come down on both sides to match our to run into our brackets otherwise i had this one going up here and it was just crashing so that's why the frame is kind of dropped down there and that explains why this crossbar is in there because i was trying to take the leverage off that as it's pushing by putting in a, um, I guess, system of triangles. So then it's got basically a giant gusset. And once we get our frame plates on, it'll kind of cap everything. So I don't know, I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it works and it seems to be working really well. So if you're wondering what I got going on on the outside of this frame, well, if you're looking at the van, ever since I cut the center of the floor out for the dry shaft, the van's got a slight arch in it. So the frame rails now are setting here. So by putting another set of frame rails here and over here, it's gonna force that van floor back straight. And the van floor is really not that bad. I mean, it is barely arched. I mean, this is an exaggeration for an example, but by putting the outriggers on, it's just simply gonna bring it back straight. So that's why I did what I did. And if you're wondering why it has blue spray paint on it, because Whenever I had it up under the van, I just simply took that blue spray paint to figure out where these runners need to be because these all match the floor of the van. So all the weight of the floor of the van is also setting on these supports. 
This one really needs to be here, but if you remember, this one is moved back so it would clear the, the brake boost here. So that's what I did when I did, and I guess it's really time to start disassembling this thing. All right, so we're back here in the back lot. In the last video, you heard Hannah say she wanted to go to prom, and I figured I better properly ask her. All right, so this is what I got. You guys can see, see what I got going on here? So take them off and look. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> well. Cute. Yes, I will go to prom with you. All right. <laughs> okay. It's the night of prom and we're running off the road. <laughs> we're going to pick up our, I guess, our double date E's, I guess is what you would call it. But we're on our way to go pick them up and head to prom. So here it is on prom night. <laughs> We've already got pulled over. We just pulled over to eat. We can't pull over any further. Oh, here he comes. Hello. I'm honestly just trying to eat real quick before we drive. <laughs> Here's all the documents okay. that you need. Yeah, there. I was just about to say, we did a pass by and we didn't see a license yeah. plate. There it is. It's all in here. I just plated it and stuff today and I just ain't got it on there. Okay, yep. would you mind <laughs> if I took this? Yeah, go for it. Yep. Cool. Yep. Right back with yep. yep, you're cool. Take the whole portfolio. Trying to eat a cheese stick and get pulled over. <laughs> <laughs> See, we were pulled over, so we're good for the rest of the night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think this is the only car that looks like. That. Yeah. Could you tell him to hurry? We're going to be late to prom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're back from prom. The old Cadillac was just purring down the highway. Oh my, and I tell you what, the DJ was in love <laughs> with this Every thing. time he would announce something, he's like, make sure you check out the 61 Cadillac outside. And I, my cat, my cat. Someone wants attention. They miss mom and dad. Yeah, so we had a great time. We're definitely gonna have to get us a Cadillac limo. That's probably one of our favorite ones now, so. Corey got the frame done. He's got these gorgeous frame plates on there. Um, Thanks to Shane. It's done. Yeah, Shane did an amazing job as usual. We are ready to load this thing up on a trailer, take it to Kevin's. Does he know about this? Or I messaged him this morning. Him? Okay. Yeah. So we're going to take it to Kevin's to have him sandblast. I was going to do that. I was going to take it to him today, but got a little sidetracked, didn't we? Well, okay. That's not while I have my purse on. We ain't loading this up. We got sidetracked, as many of you know. We do that a lot. Um, I cannot wait to show you what we're going to get. So um, come with us as we take you on another adventure. Let's go ahead, load up in the truck, and we'll head out, and we'll kind of tell them as we start headed that way. But yeah. there's the frame. The frame is ready to load up. What do you think, Minnie? You're going to stay here. We got to go on a little road trip. All right, we got the old snapperoon out. So, wet trailer with the snapperoonie. Better go tell him if it's clear. Oh my gosh, you guys, I started going to the gym. Oh, and my legs are dying. My friend Carly is killing me at the gym.
right, so when I was watching the back earlier, making sure he doesn't run into the light pole, he hit a tree. <laughs> and here's the damage. Yeah, he ain't too happy. <laughs> I mean, I can't put one eye in one direction and the other and the other. So it is what it is. I do love the rest, the patina. That's so nice. Um, thank you to the salted roads on the way to and from uh, North Carolina, I believe. South Carolina, wherever we got the hearse. It has really made the bed look gorgeous. But now that is just a just a little bit more damage for us to fix. Okay, we're on the road. Just a slight damage later. Um, no yeah. bad attitudes. I was really worried. I was Well, I figured if I had a bad attitude it was gonna ruin the the trip. Yeah, I'm probably... getting something else we don't need. So I thought it's okay, I can just fix it, just have a good attitude. So So he did, and we're on the road, and Mr. Miles, I tell you what, he gives us some trouble because he sends us stuff all the time that he knows, he knows that we can't live without. So Yeah, so that's what brings us today. Mr. Miles Lewis sent us something at a guy's property and Today's kind of a, a weird day. We're waiting on parts, so I told Hannah, like, last minute, like, hey, let's just go to Illinois real quick and pick this up. So that's what we're doing at this moment. Going to Illinois line. Yeah. All right, so we made it to the location. Hannah done found some Doritos. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take you guys along with us right now because... Now. Yeah, you guys are staying here, so we'll be back in a little bit. Check out on the one thing we came to get, but we well, did find something else. Yeah, so right now we're gonna put a couple pictures up. Um, I wasn't allowed to video, but I did take a couple pictures, and this is what we went to go look at. In the arms of an angel, fly, fly away. away. All right, so now that you've seen that, we now just you know this. why we. We wanted to go see it, and it was pretty rough. I hate it. I really, really hate that. Um, but we found something else, so. And we took a couple pictures of that, so here is that. Now that you've seen that, you guys know who wanted that, right? <laughs> but it's gorgeous. The tail lights, I should say tail light. Um, it's just really cool. I think he said it was a 55 Oldsmobile. Well, I mean, I've never been a car girl. I know some of you are gonna complain because you're like, oh, what happened to trucks? We still love the trucks. We wanna save everything. But it was teal. So like I say, if it's teal, we'll make a deal. And we did, so we're gonna be going back and getting it. Yeah, so it's just kind of buried in there so we can't get it today. And we're kind of running out of daylight. But right now, at this moment, we are hauling a truck home for Miles. Uh, Miles lives like 10 minutes from where we were at. So we're going to help Miles get his truck since we got an empty trailer anyways. And uh, I guess we'll see you when we get the Miles. This is what Miles picked up. This old international cab over. Um, sorry for the wind noise. We got some wind up here in Illinois. I've learned my lesson not to say Illinois. It's Illinois. I, I learned that from my video the last time I was up here but yeah here's what I got this old this old cab over it looks good we're getting ready to unload it getting the ramps down now and uh, yeah we're gonna go from there like a little farmer I'd have me a cat farm do what I'd have me a cat farm Call your cats in the back? Yeah. I got the kittens in the back. <laughs> Here you go. Go ahead and park it over there. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Drop her down into first. So you shift you it on see, there. See, this is a five speed on the column. I've never seen nothing like that. So it would be. This is reverse. Down is third, even further down is fifth. How crazy is that? That is weird. 
I've never seen, I mean, I've heard of three on the tree. Yeah. Obviously we've had them, but never. So five on the tree. <laughs> So that's how they listen to music in this thing? <laughs> we got that wheat record. record. <laughs> we can play it in there. Yeah. Shoot. <laughs> one purple wheel, one white wheel. Thing is something else. What? The whole, look at that. Take them over here and show them that. <laughs> I know, that is cool. Yeah. Really cool. Oh that's pretty gosh. cool. Now Hannah will be wanting me to do this in our garage. Well, I already do want you to do this in our garage. That one's real, ain't it? Yeah. Huh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. And that, I need a shelf like that. <laughs> yeah. You just hold that, you just pick it up and move it to the house. Well, look, is that a big beauty? Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> very cold next day yesterday we were walking around in t-shirts and it was beautiful we even had the windows down yeah and now it is freezing cold and i really don't want to move from this spot we'll make it quick all we gotta do is move the grumman frame out Good job, babe. We got her. You still cold? I'm frozen, yeah. All right, well, let's go in and tell these good people goodbye and uh, open up a few gifts. How's that? All right, guys, that's going to be the end of the video. And we, uh, we will get something done. I mean, waiting on parts is always the issue, I feel like. But we're doing the little things that we know we can do until we get the parts, the clear coat, everything like that. So, um, And I kind of feel like both the projects are in that boring stage, so there's nothing really exciting. We have, I mean, Corey's been working and welding and grinding. I mean, he's been working this little hard away, but filming all of that for you guys, you would turn this, you would turn this off, because- They might be turning us off anyways. Yeah, well, you might, but that's okay. Um, who is this? We guy? do have some packages here. This one is from G Booth. It's from DeSoto, Kansas. So, here we go. Got us a note. I'll let you read that because you guys know how good I am at reading. Oh, it's upside down. <laughs> you're well, I was you're like, this I one. can't read Chinese. Well, reading that it's one. upside down. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay, now this is cool. Shy. Oh my hey. gosh. Shy. Oh my gosh. It's a box, so Shy loves boxes. Yes. So this is pretty cool. That well, is awesome. That is cool. So that's what this was about. <laughs> that is cool. Okay. There is that. That is too cool. Yeah, it is. 
Alright. Oh, look at that. Another spout. Oh man. And I know who this is. For some heavy duty oh, I don't brake fluid. That one. This is pretty. Oh yeah. I'll add it to my can collection. <laughs> well thank you, Mr. I think it was Greg. Because that's what I was gonna go for. Yeah, Greg. Well thank you All so right. much yes, for that, Greg. Thank you. How cool is that? Just set that right there. All right, so this one's coming from uh, Chad. I'm not even going to try to pronounce your name because I'm going to butcher it up. But it's from uh, from Maine. If you uh, want to try no. to say it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're just. I would assume yeah. it's like that town we went to yesterday. I would, like Vima. I would say so. Which yeah. was, I think it was X I something. I done ripped in up the Illinois. letter. Corey? I didn't mean to. But I don't know, so I'm right. not even going to pronounce that. It says, one. hey, homies. Well, he don't have a problem. Oh, oh, I bet I know what that is. <laughs> that's pretty cool. So a new Hampshire muscle car sticker. That's pretty sweet. It's for your English will, it says. Heck yeah. From the club he belongs to. I'll oh, go put it on awesome. there. All right. So English will. Yes. So we're, yeah. we're definitely, all right, got to put those together. So thank you so much, Chad. Um, I'll, I'll learn how to pronounce your name. Chad Homie. That's what Chad <laughs> Homie. All right. All right. So this one is um, from Riley's Garage. It's coming from uh, Pennsylvania. Here we go. Got some t-shirts. Oh my gosh! And there's. Look Ooh. at those. All right. Riley's Garage sent us some stickers. I'm sure, that was probably for the English Will, or just for anything. LS Swap the World. So that's a new one around here. We're getting into the LS stuff. And yes, it's done. No, I'm not going to paint it. There's that. So. Oh my gosh. I love that. <laughs> Heck yeah, that's cool. And uh, they sent us some t shirts. Definitely have to be repping them on the channel. Those are cool. Now, that is so cool. White walls and all. Build them to drive them. That is pretty cool. That's yeah, a cool shirt. Yeah, it is. So heck yeah, and then um, I'm guessing little homie here got her a shirt too. Well, did you I get good. one? Okay, yay! <laughs> that is awesome. So um, he said it pushed him to get another project. So the last few months he's been building a 1950 Chevy 3100 S-Hem oh, frame so and an LS swap, a 6.0. So those, um, that truck you just described, that's something that I would like to do, like a 50s model Chevy on an S-10 frame. I see a lot of them done and they, they look really good. Yeah. But well, you guys know we got plenty of stuff to do, so. Yeah, we would love to do that, that new car that. Oh yeah. Um, you guys just seen earlier, you guys know it was Till and it was game over. And I knew. I'm going to get a shirt made that says, if it's teal, let's make a deal. Because I tell you what, that collar just, it sells me every time. <laughs> I, uh, every, if you come to our place, you guys will know which vehicles on the property are Hannah's because they're all teal. But I guess this is farewell for us. Um, we all hope you guys have a great week. I tried to tell them <laughs> hello. All right. So anyways, we all hope you have a great week. I'm addicted to... Cadillac limos now. If someone has a 61 Cadillac limo, just send me a, a DM or something. I'm sure I'll find it. I really want a 61 just to match the hearse, but I will look at other ones. And um, I guess we're going back to Illinois sometime to get Hannah's car. We're making progress on everything, just slow progress. Right now, we're going to head back out to the garage. And, and Oh, and Miles, I don't know your mom's name, but I love oh, yeah. the hat. So Miles, mom, I love this hat. And Miles, we do have your package. We are going to open it uh, in the next video, so I'm sorry, but we will get to your package. It's just these three were a little bit in front of it, so don't don't kill us. So, all right. I hope you guys all have a great week, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, now my hair is going to smell like tuna bread.